Good evening freelancers, welcome to another Anthem video. I'm PTT and today I want to give you a quick video that will helpfully guide you in the right direction to putting builds together inside of Anthem that can quickly and effectively improve things like your survivability, damage output and combo ability. Now, before we start, I will say that more videos on this particular topic will be coming after the game launches. And this video is basically a simple guide explaining the mechanics and how to best utilize them going forward. The footage in the background is from the VIP and open demo and is recorded on my Storm Javelin. With that aside, let's just jump straight into it. So hopefully by now we all know and understand that Anthem has a build system in it akin to that of the Division where you can opt to build to certain core strengths of your Javelin and improve on many in-game statistics. Now this isn't anything new in a game like Anthem and has been around for a very long time but being able to put builds together in a good way is still something many have yet to master. Thankfully, after several years of playing games like The Division and Monster Hunter, I'd like to think it is something I've become very good at and it's definitely something I want to pass on going forward. So starting off then, let's look at all four javelins and show you what can be equipped on each of them. Up first, my personal favourite, the Storm. So the Storm can equip up to two weapons, one Focus Seal, one Blast Seal, six Components and one Support Seal. Next, we have the Ranger. The Ranger can equip two weapons, one grenade, one assault launcher, six components, and one piece of support gear. Next, we have the Colossus. The Colossus can equip two weapons, one heavy assault launcher, one ordnance launcher, six components, and one piece of support gear. And finally, we have the Interceptor. The Interceptor can equip two weapons, one Assault System, six Components, one Strike System and one piece of Support Gear. Now hopefully guys you're starting to see a bit of a pattern here and can see that most of your build will be very heavily driven to which Javelin you have chosen to play on. Now things like weapons and support gear will be a given on all javelins, but the way you put together your build in the other areas will vastly differ depending on a multitude of things. Are you building a build for solo play? Are you playing in a team? Are you building to max out your ability damage or is weapon damage output your go-to? No matter what you choose, you will need to learn the very basics first and then you can start to optimise. Now, as a starting point then, I would always say you need to decide what trait you want to build towards before you start building so that you can have an idea in mind where you would like your build to end up. For demonstration purposes then, I will be showing off my Storm build with an end goal of maximising ability damage output, the ability to combo my own moves and slightly increased survivability. So to start off then, what do I have equipped? Well, I have the Frost Shards Focus Seal equipped and this allows me to not only freeze enemy but also have a primer ability on my Javelin. Then, to complement this, I have the Lightning Strike Blast Seal equipped. This is a very high damage output ability on its own but it's also a detonator to the aforementioned primer ability and this will allow me to start comboing my own moves and put out increased damage. Next then I have a lightning component equipped that increases my lightning damage by 10% of its base damage and effect build up by 10% of base build up. Now this is obviously to complement my lightning blast seal and allow that specific attack to deal more damage. Now if I was to run say a fire ability then I would swap this inscription out and run one that complements the fire ability equipped. My other component is an armour reinforcement component and increases my javelin's armour by a large amount and thus helps on the survivability front. Now in terms of my support seal, I've opted to run the wind wall and this is for two reasons. One, it gives me the ability to revive down teammates safely and two, allows me to deal damage from behind a mobile bit of cover that I can place wherever I need it, again thus helping on the survivability front. In terms of weapons then, I am running the Deadeye Sniper Rifle, although I do frequently swap this around to a Marksman Rifle or Assault Rifle, depending on who I am playing with. And alongside this, I also have the Relentless LMG equipped. 
Now there are several reasons why your weapon choice is something that should be decided very specifically, and that is because of the inscriptions that certain bits of gear have the potential to offer. If we go back to my armor reinforcement component, then you will see that I have a percentage increase to LMG damage. Now I will point out here that the 0% is in fact a bug, but the point remains the same. If you have a certain weapon type that is buffed in any way, then you definitely want to run that specific type to again increase your damage output. And that guys is my storm build that I've been running for both the VIP and open demo. Now as I said earlier, the idea behind my storm build was to improve on ability damage output, self combo ability and have increased survivability. Now I feel that I've achieved my goals for this build with the limited amount of resources that are available to me in the demo and I learn a lot about the Anthem build system along the way. Firstly, I learned that the minor inscriptions that roll on gear are extremely important to your build and making sure to complement certain abilities with other abilities is an absolute must. Now, I don't want to get onto the whole combo system in this video, but I will say that it is a very in-depth system and one that you will really want to understand going forward. To that end, I will leave a link in the video description to a video by Arix that explains all of the various combos and in-game effects that can create combos and how primers and detonators work because when you hit the higher grand master levels, this information will be one of the defining factors in success or failure. So by now guys, I hope that you are getting a basic understanding of how a build goes together and how to start optimizing it by making your gear selections complement other selections in your loadout. Now one thing I want to move on to next then is the kind of effect your components will play as this is really the only slot that carries over between the four javelins and can work in a similar way. So as you saw earlier, there are six component slots available to your Javelin upon reaching the maximum pilot level of 30. That is six main attributes of your Javelin that can be changed and up to 12 minor attributes. Now obviously there are minor and major attributes that can also be changed on other bits of gear too, but as I'm trying to keep this as basic as I can, let's just concentrate on the component slots for this video. Now in terms of how much diversity there is in your build options, I would say that it would be extremely rare to run across another Javelin with the exact same build as you. Yes, you may come across several people running a similar build in terms of say elements or abilities, but when it comes to those minor stats, then there are so many and they're so dependent on certain playstyles that the likelihood of too many people running the same thing is very, very small. Now, to fully grasp just how big a game changer minor and major inscriptions are to your build, I'm going to pull up a few screenshots from a video that a fellow Anthem creator, William, aka Your Anthem, made a few days ago, and a link can be found in the video description to his channel. So on screen you're seeing a shot of an epic elemental synergy component that increases gear damage by 50% of its base and lowers gear recharge rate by 20%. It also has two minor attributes that increase the recharge rate of your ultimate ability by 25% and your shield refresh rate by 10%. Now these are obvious end game component parts, but hopefully you can start to see that by the time we hit level 30 and start heading into the realms of Grandmaster, then your javelin builds are going to have so much potential that you're really going to want to be knowing how to put effective builds together in the correct way and making the most of certain abilities and statistics that synergize with other areas of your build. Now I feel that I may be starting to go a little bit in depth here, so I am going to start wrapping up guys. Hopefully the information I presented to you today has made you understand the basics of builds inside of Anthem, what to pay attention to when making said builds and how to optimize it to start increasing whatever it is that you wish to increase. Now I will be aiming to bring you guys several in-depth storm builds when the game launches and there is always the possibility that I will cover other javelins too but for now my aim will be to make the best most kick-ass elemental storm going and that's what I will be aiming for as soon as is humanly possible. Now then, topics like builds always lead to very healthy and sometimes long back and forth conversations so please feel free to hit me up in those comment sections and ask me any questions you may have relating to builds.
I would also very much like to know what kind of builds you guys might already be theory crafting in your heads now that you've had some hours in game to experiment with this type of thing. And of course, as always, I'd like to say thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. Now normally I don't tend to do this, but this video has taken a very long time to put together, so if you'd like the video and if you found it helpful in any way, please drop a thumbs up, consider subscribing as it does help me out a great deal, and of course I appreciate all the love and support that you guys show to me. Anyway, that's it guys, have a great day. Again, thank you for watching, and until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.